Hi guys, this is Danny for the Rock Phone Company. So the Rock Phone Company asked me to test this phone. Uh, it's uh, IP68, so that means it's uh, waterproof. It's also shock resistant, and it has a, a lot of uh, outdoor goodies, as we're gonna see. And it's also walkie-talkie, and it's a quad-core Android for a smartphone. So definitely the device, the smartphone looks strong. It feels strong. It's not too heavy. It's not too large. It looks like a very nice device. So it's made of uh, strong black plastic here. On the side, it's uh, more soft plastic. I made a drop test already one. So as you can see, it's little mark here. And uh, so on the side there are a few buttons. This one I don't know what it does. This one is a reset button. So it's written here. This one is a power button. Here under this door we can access to the USB V2 and here to the audio jack. Down there is nothing. On the other side so you have the volume button, the SOS button and two other buttons, I don't know what they do also. On the back we have the 8 megapixel camera with a LED flash. Here is a speaker here. And in front here we have the webcam and the different sensor. We have the proximity and light sensor here. So here is my iPhone 5 and as you can see, it looks very small and very thin compared to the M8. But definitely it's not the same purpose. So when you buy the Snowpo M8, you receive it in this case. So it's a large case, but it's a nice case. And uh, it's only for the M8. You have also the Snowpo M8S, which is a dual core CPU and it's, it doesn't come with a case. So, of course, you get the phone. Uh, I have put the battery already inside. You have uh, the charger, and uh, depending if you are in Europe, in UK, or in the US, you will have uh, different plugs. This is the European version. So, you have the USB cable, you have the earphone, you got this small hook, small compass, this small tool to open the back to access the battery, and the antenna because, as I said in the intro, it's a walkie talkie also. And there are So there is a manual, but it seems in uh, yeah, it's in English and Chinese. There is a warranty card, and there is a, a film protector. So let's power on the phone. Let's put it the antenna. Okay, so let's zoom a little bit. So it has a two page of apps. So uh, let's see what it comes with. So Advanced Task Killer, I have installed it for the purpose of the test. So it's to see uh, how much free memory we have. So here we have uh, 565 memory. That means that it's a 1 gig uh, RAM. So I have put here the Antutu, Antutu benchmark. So it's a benchmark for Android smartphone. 
I score 15,700 and uh, here are the details so it rate 2,731 for 3D games so that means that uh, yeah it's not excellent but uh, most of the game will run, most of the app will run on it So it's an Android 4.2.1 So the CPU is a MediaTek MT6589 And this is uh, the power viewer, it's a GPU And this is the definition of the screen, so it's a QHD 540 times 960 Here as you can and see the real camera is a 1.9 megapixel instead of 5 or 8 uh, Actually I phone to the rock phone company and they say they send me an old version that uh, uh, I should test but uh, the manufacturer has inverse the front and rear camera but uh, they are showing me that uh, for the newest model the rear one is a 8 megapixel and the front one is a 2 megapixel so EMA is in 35 so the CPU uh, run at 1.2 GHz and it's 4 core So the screen density is 240 Let's see uh, multi-touch So it's a 5 point So the NFC is supported, it has a Wi-Fi and it has few sensors, so direction, acceleration, light sensor, e-compass, proximity, gyro, temperature and pressure okay, you, you have also backup and restore, of course, there is a browser So it's not as fast as the latest 8-core phones, but uh, let's see, it's not so bad. So it has uh, the calculator, the calendar, so the camera. So as you can see, it's the first time I just ran it. But it has a autofocus, it has a LED flash. Cell broadcast. So clock download, email, file manager. So you can see that on the, the 4 gig, only one 77 gig is free for you to store your photos, your documents but you can easily upgrade it by uh, putting uh, a micro SD card so it accepts a uh, card up to uh, 32 GB so you have a, a real radio but you need to, to put the earphone to work so it has gallery, Gmail so I have uh, put GPS data and uh, Let's go outside and see how it works. So as you can see, it fixes the signal. So it got the position. It got uh, six satellites on uh, ten. And uh, for the first fix, it lasts uh, 272 seconds. So it's uh, quite long, but uh, it's uh, for the first catch. So for the second catch it's very quick, here it's uh, zero second and it catches six and eight satellites now. So now we are outside with the screen on. So we are under the shade but uh, it's interesting to see the 
brightness of the screen and it's, uh, it's bright enough to be used uh, at daylight and it's a very important feature for an uh, outdoor uh, smartphone. So GPS is working. So we have uh, Google Local, we have Google Map, we have Messaging. And I have installed uh, MTK Engineering. So we're going to go here to MTK Settings, to Band Mode, and we're going to go to SIM 1 because it's a dual SIM smartphone. So here we have the GSM bands, so it's four bands. And we have here the UMTS, so the 3G bands, and we have four bands, so 800, 850, 1900, and 2000. So you have to check with your local uh, cellular operator if this phone works with their network. And we have the second SIM. And the second SIM is only uh, made for GSM. It doesn't work with uh, data 3G or 2G. So we have a music app, we have a Google navigation, it uses uh, 3G. We have weather and news, news and weather. We have a notebook, we have uh, the phone book, we have the phone function, of course. We have the Play Store, so the Play Store allows you to uh, install a lot of apps to install books, uh, films and so on, even movies you can download now. And here you have the PTT function, so it's a walkie-talkie function. And you have a different menu here down. So we have the range for 400 to 470 megahertz. So we have search, we have the settings here. Let's review the memory here. So we still have 800 or almost 900 megabyte available to install uh, additional apps. Okay, let's review now the different languages available with a phone. And some more info about the, the firmware, the version, the Android version. Okay, so we have also here asset function, so you have to put a, a pre-selected number and uh, when you press here the SOS, it calls and sends an alert message to this number. Uh, sound recording, Google Talk, To Do, Video Player, Wi-Fi, so uh, our uh, router is on the, not on the same level as here, but we can see we still have signal, it's not a lot but we still have signal, so 77, 79. Uh, average is 74, so it's not as good as an uh, average phone in terms of Wi-Fi. So here is uh, YouTube. And YouTube is not working. Okay, a little bit strange. So here we have a, a pedometer function, but all is in Chinese. 
So I don't know if it's very useful to you, at least it's not useful to me. And uh, I don't see a barometer, uh, altimeter and so on. It's a pity because uh, it has a sensor, but there is no app to use a sensor. So it's a little uh, disappointing on this point. So Snowpo says it's uh, waterproof, so let's try it. So I don't see uh, any bubble, so it uh, seems good. So uh, it's still working, just need uh, a good dry now. It's uh, shot proof and 180 tall, so let's say here it's uh, 170. So it's on and let's uh, just drop it. So one, two and three. So one, two and three. It has stopped. Let's turn it up. And now uh, it's starting again, and it uh, looks in uh, imperfect condition. So let's have a closer look to the smartphone condition after the drop test. So if we look carefully, here we can see the impact, but uh, it's very small because it falls uh, on stone. Besides that, uh, all is perfect. Let's now open it to see uh, why it's uh, watertight. So to open the back, you have to unscrew all the six screws here with a small tool. And then... Open the back like that. Still not fully unscrew one more Okay, so let's check for water inside. No, there is no no water, no leakage after the test. So we can see the o-ring here all around. And inside, so you have the dual seam and the, the drive to put the TF card, memory card. Well, my first conclusion after this test is uh, it's a phone alike. I, I like the size, uh, I like the four uh, and a half uh, inch screen. Uh, it looks very strong, it feels strong, um, it's powerful enough, it's not as powerful as the latest uh, four-core CPU phones, but it's it's powerful enough to, to run uh, basically most of the apps. Um, if you are a gamer, it's not uh, recommended for uh, hardcore 3D games, but besides that, uh, I think it will run most of the app from the Play Store. Um, so it has uh, the slot here to uh, add the memory because uh, the so four uh, gigabyte are just uh, too small, especially that you can only use uh, 1.7 gig. So you, you must basically add uh, one uh, additional memory card. And uh, yeah, the, the battery is uh, 3000 uh, milliamps per hour. 
So for me it's uh, good to go and uh, be tuned because we're going to test uh, other phone very soon.